Hello. <clears throat> Hello, everybody. It is time for the moment. The moment. Hello, Mixling. Ooh. Okay, I need to see the intro. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Or do I get that when I start a save? I don't know. Checking, checking, testing, audio balance. Maybe like right around here. Maybe. Checking, checking, testing. Okay, maybe like right around. No, I don't know that. Is that too quiet? I don't know. Checking, checking. Test, test. Hang on, just let me, let me listen to this. Oh, I pushed the button. Okay, okay. Get started. Okay, so do we get the opening cutscene? Yeah, we do. <gasps> Today, I'm going to tell you the story of the Thousand Year Door. An awfully long time ago, in a strange and far-off land, a big bustling town thrived. It was a town where all people lived very happy lives. And it was said that the town was very prosperous. But one day, tragedy befell this blessed place. A great cataclysm struck down the town and its people. I added a word in there. Darkness filled the skies, and earth roared and shook. It was as if the very world had come to a violent end. And in but a single night, the town sank to the depths of the earth. Many moons rose and set. Stories of the town passed into the pages of fairy tales. And when the town site no longer held relics of its past, people gathered at that spot and built a new town. But word soon, spre word soon spread among people who did something or other. That an ancient city lay deep underground, and that a magnificent treasure rested there. Indeed, this is the tale of the fabled treasure of Rogueport. Yes, this is where it begins, in the sea town of Rogueport, the tale of the quest for the legendary treasure. And the Thousand Year Door starts here. Yeah, so they, they animated that whole thing. Like, originally that wasn't animated. Like, it was just the book. So yeah, they went a little, they went extra with that one. Finally, I have a minute without Toadsworth watching over me. He's so paranoid. I come all the way here on holiday, only to be stuck with Toadsworth. It's so stifling. Once in a while, I'd like the chance to look around on my own and see what I want. Well, we know what happens when you do that. But now that I'm doing it, all I see is that this town has a very um, distinct flavor. Oh, Missy, Missy. 
Won't you buy something? I have a wide assortment of knickknacks and doodads, but this is a special favorite. Well, that's a pretty box. What's inside it? Hey, kid. You want to see something strange and mystical? This box holds a map that shows where to find treasure. But the box has a magic lock on it that will only open for a pure and noble heart. As you can see, it won't so much as budge if one such as me touches it. Oh. If the box will open for you, Missy, then you may have whatever's inside. <laughs> Go on, hold it. I suppose I could try opening it. It had a light bulb in it. Meanwhile, at this old dinky place, it's Paracary. He's still alive. Mail call. I forgot what voice I did for Paracary when I played that game. It's Duichi. Hey bro, check it out. A letter from Princess Peach arrived for you. I'll just read it to you. How's that sound? Ahem, now let's see here. Hello there, Mario. I'm now on holiday, traveling in, traveling in the Mushroom Kingdom. In my travels, I came into possession of a mystical map. A treasure map, actually. It was inside a box I got from an old merchant in a town called Rogueport. But since it would be too difficult for me to try to go find treasure all by myself, I thought maybe you could help me hunt for it. You will, of course, won't you? I've included the map with this letter, so please bring it with you when you come. I'll meet you at Rogueport. That means you must come, Peach. Mario in a bad bitch tells him to do something. Uh, there's a photo mo- uh, no, that- that's a feature built into the Switch- the Switch OS. Is that if you press the home button twice in a row, like this, then it- it zooms in to the screen. Yeah, you can just- you can move it around. A lot of people don't know about that. A lot of people don't know that that's a thing. What do you know? It's true. There's a weathered old map in here with the letter. Checking out. Oh, smells like shit. And mold. And now we're on a boat. So yeah, I originally wasn't going to stream this game so soon. But, uh, you know, Nintendo had a little surprise for me, we could say. Originally, I was going to stream Superstar Saga before this game, but, you know, there's no reality where I wasn't going to play this remake, so... You know what, we'll, we'll turn, we'll just turn it into, th th this is the new plan. And I'm very happy to see it. Excuse me, sir. They even gave like... They gave text box noises to the, <laughs> to the unseen boatman. Please wake up, sir. The town you'd been speaking of has come into view. Look, that's Rogueport. <gasps> SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> You see, we'll arrive shortly. Please prepare to disembark. <laughs> I must apologize, sir. Our arrival was delayed just a bit by rough weather. Are you quite sure you want to disembark here? 
I did tell you about all the sordid tales about Rogueport on our way here, did I not? What's that? I'm sorry? You say there's a princess waiting here for you? Is that so? Uh, of course, sir. Well, if that's what you think, then I won't stop you. But, uh, you'd be careful, sir. Don't say I didn't warn you. Alright. So we, we's in the rogue port. A is jump. B is hammer. I don't know if I would have made it like that. I mean, that's how it was on the GameCube, but the, in the GameCube, it was a different position. Can you switch it? I wonder. Boom. The menus are very good looking. Rumble, brightness. Uh, okay, rumble strength. You can't change the button layout. Dark. Dark. No, we'll go. We'll go normal unless we have a reason to not go normal. Hello, Langton. Hit this block to save. Yes. Yep. Save. Hey, look! It's a unique designman. He's got like a hat on. Can you believe that? Oi! Welcome to Rogueport. Bit of a nasty place, eh? You got guts coming here. You look a bit green, so have a wee bit of advice on me. Hit that save block to save. Yeah, I just did that. Because the thing about life, you never know when you're going to kick the old bucket. I mean, yeah, that that is true. Also, <laughs> the NPCs react to being hit with a hammer now. That That's completely new. Also, Mario can hammer in all directions, which is also completely new. And it's also in 30 FPS, which is also completely new. What do you want, pal? A princess in a pink dress? I ain't seen nothing like that, no. I'd remember a princess, probably. <laughs> Why do you want this chick anyway, pal? Oh, you money? Or is she your girlfriend? Hey, what do you want? Get away from me, freak. Oh, wait. Oh, come off it. I know you're a nosy book nerd, so don't play dumb with me. I've seen you walking around town asking for information about the crystal stars. Well, now I'm doing the asking, so be a good little student. Tell us what you know, right now. Never. I don't have anything to say to you, creeps. Ew. I suppose it wouldn't be right if a sassy little lass like you was met with an untimely demise. Buh, buh, buh. Boys, we're taking this firebrand to our fortress. As you command, Lord Crump, we're on it. N no, stop right there, you weirdos! I'll scream! Really? Hang on. Okay. Like I'd go anywhere with smelly losers like you. Hm, not likely. Whoa! What do you think you're doing, chump? You think you can screw up my plans? Gah, it's always something. Looks like I'm gonna have to give you the old, a little taste of the old crump -a bomb Yeah, yeah. Battle time, Mr. Man. Just find a way to beat this freak of the week, okay? Don't sweat the details. Just jump on him and hit him with your hammer. Okay, I will do it. Sweet! You know that hurt. Wow, I gotta say, you're tougher than you look. Keep it up, keep it up and you'll beat him in no time. I, I like what they did with this song. This is a good... This is a good remix cover thing. You got him on the ropes. Come on, keep wailing on him. Like I said, though, the, the only thing that kind of looks a little stinky about this remake is that it's 30 FPS. Oh, did... Is that a different victory theme for this song? But yeah, I wish it was 60, but what are you gonna do? At least it looks really nice. You did it! You did it! Yes! And you got star points! 
Mario just tilts his head like a dog. That's what these things, little things are. Star points. Cheap viewers on Cutly. Uh, no, go die, please. How do I kill you? Oh, here you go. Okay, Wellington got it. The star points you get will show up here. When you get 100 points, you'll go up a level. Don't forget that, okay? Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah. Buh, buh, buh. Okay, you got a couple shots in. I'll give you that. But, unfortunately for you, that means... It's go time! Punish him! Quick, this way! Phew, what a bunch of bozos. Let's just sneak out of here, what do you say? Okay, one thing I will say, in the original game, you actually had to manually walk out of that, and I think that was funnier. So, uh, minus a point. <laughs> Stop! Where'd they go? Huh, you, Johnson, did you see them? Did anyone? A uh, crud, they bolted. Wow, mister, you totally saved me. Thanks. I, I've just got to give you a little reward. My name's Goombella. I'm a junior at the University of Goom. Nice to meet you. So, uh, who are you? Mario? Wait, you mean like that famous guy? Wow, I can't believe I met you here. Cool. Anyway, no offense, but it looks like you just rolled into town yourself, right? <laughs> Me? I already hate it here. There are freaks and weirdos everywhere. It's nasty. You'll never find a more wretched hive of scum and villainy. I mean, I know the place is called Rogueport, so I should have expected it, but sheesh. I'd never come to a place like this if there weren't some legendary treasure here. What? You're looking for the legendary treasure too? Seriously? Whoa, 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 bucko. What do you got there? <laughs> oh my gosh. Is, th is that a map? You have to tell me where you got that. Princess Peach? What? Great hoogly boogly, if it isn't Master Mario. Yeah, so fun fact about the dudes getting mugged in the background. In the original game, they just kind of ignored them. In this one, they added an, a little animation when they turned around. And I'm not sure which of those two is funnier. Just like... <laughs> oh my god, Toadsworth, we thought you were dead. Bit of a coincidence bumping into one another in this sort of place, hmm? <laughs> so tell me, Master Mario, what in the world brings you to this wretched little burg? I think it's real good. Hmm, ah, indeed. Princess Peach sent you a letter and a treasure map? And she told you she'd meet you here in Rogueport? Intriguing. And yeah, they just, they've added a ton of little animations to these cutscenes, like, like, there's a lot of things I've seen where they didn't have to go this extra with some of this, but I appreciate they did. Like, especially, they gave all of the partners, like, back-facing sprites when that wasn't a thing originally. Um, you're asking me what Princess Peach is? Mm, I was about to ask you that. We stopped in this town to acquire a spot of fuel for our ship, don't you know? I only took my eyes off her for a moment, but as soon as I did, she vanished. You know how headstrong she is, Mario. I just assumed she'd be back momentarily. But at this point, I fear we must embrace the possibility that she may never return. But I'm feeling better with you here, Master Mario. Sure we will find her, surely. But I know my place, Master Mario, and this is not it. I leave this task to you. 
I believe I'll recline in the inn right over there and enjoy a spot of tea, perhaps. In fact, I highly recommend it, particularly if you find your HP hard points running low. Just drop on in! <laughs> um, yes, anyway, a little rest there will fill all of your HP. I must say, though, the rest of this town is a bit rough. Yes, rough indeed. Hello, Zero Kirby. Um, Princess Peach? Did he mean, like, Peach the Mushroom Kingdom Princess? The princess who always gets nabbed by Bowser, the Koopa King? The one you rescue? Wait a sec, this is wild! Princess Peach sent you that treasure map? Whoa, this is really intense! Well, where do you think she could have gone then, do you think? You think maybe she got sick of waiting and went to find the treasure on her own? Oh, and Goombella's got her own theme now. Ooh, ooh, I know Mario, come with me! One of my professors is here researching that treasure. We'll show him your map. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. It's so cute. If we start looking for the treasure, then maybe we'll find some clues about Princess Peach. Great, we're all good then. Let's go, Mario. Goombella joined your party. Oh, and she has a new theme for this, too. I mean, as cute as that is, I I kind of hope we still hear, hear the original song, the one that goes do 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 because that's a good song. Okay, when you you may see this appear over Goombella's head. If that happens, you can press X to learn more about that person or object. Yes. That's Gunther the Goomba. He's always complaining about being swindled and mugged. I mean, understandable, really. Maybe that's still there for the upgrade tutorials. Yeah, I hope so. Yep. And you can just paddle that. This is Roport, Squ Roport Square. It's the center of town in the main business district. It's a crossroads where many people meet, including more than a few shady characters. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty simple. I also did it all in the last game. First off, we gotta go find my professor. Thing is, since I just got to town myself, I am in, don't actually know where he lives. His name is Professor Frankly, and he looks like this. NERD! NERD! Oh, before I, I forget to mention it, from here on, if you ever feel lost or confused, try pressing ZL. That'll be my cue to share any info I know, which might help us figure out what to do next. Studying pays off. Okay. So, just... So, ZL. Uh. So, I was hoping that there was, like, a quick tattle button. Oh, <laughs> she reacts to it, too. Because, like... One thing that I kind of found annoying replaying Mar Paper Mario 64 is that you have to have Goombario out if you want to do the tattle. Which means that there's a lot of flavor text we missed out on because it's just too tedious to bring him out to have him speak on every single location. And I I'm looking for this guy who defrauded me with a fake credit card the other day. If you find that jerk, give him a wallet for me. Oh, credit card fraud. Oh, th this part of the song goes hard, though. I, I don't know how I feel about the trumpets in the main melody, but this part goes pretty good. You smell that? This smells like a profitable situation. Yes, indeedy. Looks like my star is finally starting to shine. Not that it's any of your business. Okay. Turf war be between the Pianta Syndicate and the Robos heating up, apparently. Best stay indoors. Was that poster always there in the original game? Is that new? Graffiti corner. 
I saw the most beautiful, elegant princess in Rogueport. I think I'm smitten. Podley's best customer. Okay, what we got in here? Oh, it's the item shop. Oh! It has a th special shop theme. Okay, the, the music people went way too hard. I'm just gonna say it. Hey there, fellow. Welcome. Is this your first time in our shop? I think it is. I always like to explain our shop point system to new customers, so bear with me. We have one shop point. Uh, 300. Yeah. Uh, no. Please don't. Now with that said... Okay, I, I will, but I, I don't want to do it right now. Okay, but I have to- I have to go back here. <laughs> uh... Sm smoosh! Retrieve coin! That's McGoomba. A Goomba, obviously. I think he's on the lamb from somewhere. I mean, why else would he be chilling in this back alley? It's nasty here. Listen, this is a huge secret, but I gotta tell someone. I'm a wanted Goomba. I was a thief in another town up until three months ago. Yeah, a good one. But then the heat came down and I needed to hide out, so I came to Rogueport. Now that I told you I'm lying low in the thieves' den, you gotta keep it a secret, okay? <laughs> I'm so sly. Oh, keep up. But I need to check something over here. Oh, is the Doogie Man. Dang, yesterday I blew through a hundred coins at the parlor. You believe that? But not next time, man. I'm coming back a winner. The odds favor me now. That's a suspicious Dugan. He craves that one big score, but I doubt it'll happen. I mean, even if he did make some money, he'd just blow it. He depresses me. Yeah, so we have a, a name for the, that species. Only two of those appeared in the first game, but they're all over the place here. So let me see. Aww. So, okay. Ooh, star a star piece. So, uh, in the Japanese version of the original game, there's like a bloody crime scene here, and I was wondering if maybe they uncensored it. They did not. How dare they. But at least we get to keep the noose. At least the noose in the middle of town is still firmly here. Oi, I used to sail around wild in my younger days, but I'm a reformed sailor now. I used to go around exploding all over the place without giving it much thought. That guy's a bob sailor. I think he comes here every time his ship makes port. I don't blame him. This place has a totally cool atmosphere. I'd be a regular too. Oh yeah, I'm not... I'm not Russian. <laughs> Dude, the Flavio at the Shell Shack is singing! Okay, so one thing I want to say is that... Since I didn't stream uh, Superstar Saga, I think this guy is supposed to be like one of the bean people from that game. Welcome to you and yours. Have a seat. This is Podley's place. Humble little cola shop where folks mix stories and drinks. By the way, by the by, there's an inn upstairs. When you're weary, go on up and relax. Can't you take a hint, pal? Dot 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 means scram. Don't talk to me. Ah, what are you doing? Sneaking up on the person as he sings most jovially. Who, me you ask about? Ah, I am called Flavio. I am, how you say, a trader. The richest man in Rogueport. That's the entrepreneur, Flavio. He's like, super rich and he owns lots of ships. What's he doing so here, er, here so early in the day though? Think he's doing okay? <laughs> you think he's a day drinker? That's the innkeeper, Podley. He looks distinguished, always polishing those glasses. 
I wouldn't mind having a cold Chocola Cola. Yeah, see that that is firmly a Superstar Saga reference. Sometime and listening to him talk. He opened this inn a long time ago, so he really knows about the townsfolk. I keep going up. God, how long does this song go on for? <laughs> oh, where in the world could the princess have gotten to? This is quite troubling indeed. That's Toadsware, steward of Princess Peach's castle. He's an active senior. He's been really worried since Princess Peach went missing. I hope we can mellow him out. He's been dead since 2006. Welcome to the lone refuge in this port of filthiness. Our beds will soothe your soul. Care to rest? It's five coins. No, thank you. I, I like that there's a bucket in the middle that's just dripping water in it. Oh, and I can sit in the bucket. Gumbella. Really, really just taking this bucket with me. Okay. You can go on top of the house. And this is the badge shop. But it's closed. We'll reopen at 11 a.m. because I don't know about badges yet and the game doesn't want to overwhelm me. Freeze! You two! Not another step! Don't come this way! Some complete jerk just bumped into me and made me lose a contact lens! I'm looking for it right now, so don't you dare move! You hear me? Whatever you do, do not move an inch! Not an inch, you hear? Okay, well, I mean, we gotta wait on her to find the contact, so... Now's a, two, now's a good time for donations. You know, maybe if I go backwards. Squitch. Ah! Idiot! You step. I don't know if this is a good voice for her. My poor contact lenses! I told you not to move! Don't your stupid ears work? What were you thinking? This is your fault. Now I have to buy a new contact lens, but you're gonna pay for it. Compensate me, Mr. Clumsy. Oh no. It is not my responsibility. Fine, if that's your plan, then here's mine, you oaf. I'm gonna block the gate to the west side until you bring me a new contact lens. Nice old brat. I keep thinking that the trumpets in the background of the song are going to turn into the Flintstones. Siva Gunner, what have you done to me? Mr. Dugan. <laughs> Professor Frankly, actually I think a guy by that name lives on the east side. Just go east from here. As you enter town from the harbor, just hang a right. So, uh, what about it? Did this guy steal something important from you or what? Oops, pardon me, sucker. <laughs> hey, what's your beef, pal? Yeah, I'm talking to you. That guy bumps into you and just runs off like that. Unbelievable. Some people are so rude. And he stole my money. No, I didn't mean to press that. Oh, well, actually, yeah, it's good I pressed it. This is Rogueport's east side. Consider it dangerous even for Rogueport. Oh, more danger. This is Ishnail's turf. He's the leader of a band of thieves called the Robos. Then again, you can also find Merlin here. He can help your partners level up. Still, it's definitely too tough a place for a non-ruffian like me to walk alone. You can go back here. It's an optical illusion. <laughs> I'm pulling another card trick today. I'm making tons of loot. That's the sound. It, that's the voice it sounds like he has. But somebody started tailing me, so I came here to hide out for a while. Don't tell anyone you saw me here. Oh, I'll bonk you.
Hey, my name is Darkly. I like dim places. And I'm done talking for now. Yeah, the, they they sample really like cool stuff for the voice. But like, I appreciate the voice clips. Apparently Origami King did that too. I forgot about that, but it's really good. That's Darkly. He loves the dark. He just stays in the shadows all day long. Sounds kind of creepy to me, but hey, whatever powers you up, know what I mean? Whatever turns you on, Doc. Uh, Star Peace. Star Peace. It was after playing Super that I realized Merlin was a recurring character in the series. Is it is it supposed to be the same guy, or is it just three different dudes named Merlin? I was never quite sure. Hey, you big old rube! It ain't smart talking to people you don't know. You never know when a guy might go wild and attack! Be careful, live longer. Origami King only did it for a handful of characters. Oh, so they went extra for this one. Merlin, my man! My man! Welcome to the home of Merlin, the super magician. I foresaw your arrival. I can aid you if you wish, with three shine sprites. I can power up your partners. Of course, that means I boost their attack power, but I also throw in a new move for free. So, which partner would you like me to power up? Uh, I don't have any shine sprites, I'm sorry. Return someday. You, you moved over here? You moved to this stank hole? Oh, look, look at it, look, look at Mario in the, look in the crystal ball, look at him. He's like a little Mario in the crystal ball. Oh, there's a little Goombella in the crystal ball. That's Merlin. He's this odd old man who says some really bizarre things sometimes. He helps power up your allies here. For three shines, but yeah, I know. I know. Okay, let's... Hey, friend. Let me through. Let me through. Let me through. That's Gus. He's part of that band of thieves who calls themselves the Robos. He looks like a total maniac, but he's actually a nice guy. Don't judge books by covers. Okay, let's go talk to the old man. Oh, hi, there you are, Professor Frankly. Oh, oh. Who's there? Who wants me? Ah, yes, you. Now you, uh... Wait for it. Just a moment. Don't tell me now. Silence. I'll get it right. Um, it's not Goombriel. Um, it's not Eliza Goom. Mm. Um. Ah, I've got it! You're Gumbella, aren't you? You were in my archaeology class last year, am I right? Oh yeah, <laughs> Frankly's theme goes way too hard <laughs> for what it is. Oh yeah, this is a good one. I'm sorry, there are gonna be points in this playthrough where I just kind of stop and listen to the music. <laughs> Ooh. And yeah, there's there's new segments. Like, th this part... This part was just not in the original, if I recall right. <laughs> it's still going. Wow, yes, sir, that's me. I'm Goombella, a junior at you Goom. Go Goombus. Of course I remember you. Not to toot my horn, but I'm pretty good at remembering. You, though, you stick out in my mind because you are such an exceptional student. And that guy behind you is... Who? Mario, Professor, he's Mario. You know, the famous one. Oh, my apologies. I'm such a bookworm. I haven't a clue about what's hip right now. <laughs> Good face. In any case, what sort of errand brings you two all the way to a place like this? We were hoping you'd tell us about the legendary treasure said to be below Rogueport. I thought that if anyone knew anything about it, you would, Professor Frankly. Of course I know about it. The reason I came here was to study that very subject. But why do you tykes want to learn about the legendary treasure? 
You know that most say it's a little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Uh, it's little more than a fairy tale, don't you? Yeah, that, that A makes a huge difference in what that sentence means. Archaeologists and historians have to search for truth in those fairy tales, though. Me, I believe the legendary treasure truly does exist, and I really want to find it. Good point, and well made. In that case, I'll cooperate you with you however I can. First of all, we should start by addressing just what the legendary treasure is. Is it... Is this a... Is this still going? Like, oh yeah, here's a kazoo. Some say it's an infinitely vast treasure hoard, while others say it's a magical item. Some books say it's actually a monster, while others claim it's an empty chest. And the real treasure is the friends we made along the way. I don't like that one. That one seems kind of lame to me. So many different theories. Obviously, it's impossible to define, divine the truth among them. <coughs> this, is a hard, this is a hard voice to do for him. But I'll agree on one point. To find the treasure, one must have the crystal stars. The crystal stars? To find the treasure of yore, take the seven crystal stars to the thousand year door. That's how the old saying goes. And with a rhyme that's solid, it must be true. <laughs> Therefore, if you want to find the legendary treasure, you must collect the seven crystal stars. Oh, hey, I researched some of the written lore behind the treasure, and it kind of matches that old saying. Hold the magical map aloft before the entrance to the thousand year door. Then the stars will light the way that leads to the stones of yesterday. The stones of yesterday. Is that referring to the same crystal stars you mentioned? It must be, and we're in luck. It seems the thousand year door is located somewhere beneath this very town. Yet the critical piece of the puzzle, the magical map, is lost. If only we had that map! But we do have it, Professor. Or, well, not we exactly. Mario has the magical map. What?! <laughs> really?! You- you actually have it? Could I- could I just take a quick look at it, if you don't mind? Yes, sir, so let me grab it with my teeth there. Astounding! This is it! The real thing! The one and only magical map! Capitalized, so you know it's special. You, son, are my hero! You're great! Fantastic! Wonderful! Outstanding! Amazing! With this map, we can locate the crystal stars just by holding it up in front of the thousand-year door! Right on, Professor. Good golly, what are we doing just sitting here, then? Gumbella, Mario! Let's take the magical map to the thousand-year door! Off we go must go this instant! I'll lead the way to the sewers underneath the town. Yeah, also, Mario... Mario's got, like, a little lip on the top of him. You know, they got rid of the white outlines and they have this instead. It's- it's subtle. It's more subtler. <coughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Doing the Frankly voice rustled up some crud in my chest, I think. And I'm gonna have to do it some more. I bet you didn't know this rotten old thing came off, did you? <laughs> Hello, Miles. Also, you made me lose the game. Screw you. We can use this pipe to get down onto the city streets. Come on, both of you. Let's get moving. The BP icon in the pause menu still resembles Paper Mario 64 Mario. Oh yeah, you're right. Also, there's a thing here that I can't actually get yet. But we'll have to, we'll have to remember that. Squaw- Oh wait, hang on a second. Mario, something just occurred to me. I'm fairly certain there are quite a few hoodlums below, so I'll keep your guard up. Would you two like to practice your action commands before we descend? They're the basics of battle, after all. Nope. Really? A master, are you? Okay. Mumbella, you can be Mario's opponent. What? Me? Are you serious? Oh, gee, um, okay. I'll do my best, I guess.
Okay. Yeah, I know about this one. I know about this one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know about that one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Not sure if the guard super guard timing is less strict or not yet. Yeah, I was kind of hoping he would tell me about super guards, which is why I did it. But that might be advanced. Oh, wait, wait, hang on. Oh, press. Uh, no, he's telling me. He's telling me. Yeah, so that's a new mechanic here. No, I'm done. Okay, though, just a second, just a sec. Okay, go on, go on in there. Oh, okay. like one of the best songs in the whole series. Oh my god, it's Nights into Dreams. Oh, they did it justice. I was worried they wouldn't do this one justice. They did. Welcome, Mario. I am Merlovely, the lovely fortune teller. Seeing with my amazing abilities, which you seek, is my humble job. The light of the shining stars will light that which I wish to see. Aha! So, shall I see something for you? Uh, no, I'm good. Aha! Is that so? Well, if there's anything you ever want to find, just ask. I'd like to know why you're living underground. That would be nice to know. I, I mean, some people live underground, but it's usually not this literal. Hey, hey man, what's up? You think it's cool to just waltz up your way into our underground? Typical, you surface level snobs are so stuck up. Ooh, I get to see the sun. I like to breathe clean air. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, come on over here, scruffy mustache man. We're gonna teach you some proper manners. Leave him alone. Can't two academics and a world-famous hero wander the sewers of a port town in peace? If this is your usual greeting to visitors, then you must have learned it down here, because it stinks! Ouch, that was cold. What, you're too good for a fight? If you ain't looking to tussle, then stay out of the sewer. Nobody, nobody doesn't start a fight with us. Nobody. Let's get him. That was a double negative, sir. So, like, originally, I, I'm pretty sure they hit on Goombella. And, uh, I mean, I can't blame him for... I can't blame him for changing that. A Goomba, a spiky Goomba, and a Paragoomba. My, the whole Goomba family tree. The only one I should warn you about is that fellow in the middle. The spiky Goomba. See that spike on his head? It's a spike! Well, jump on that and you're the one who will take damage. 
I actually think it's kind of funnier. Yeah, yeah. There's already a patch to restore the cat calling. The chestnut calling. Yeah, you'll have to jump to reach the Paragoon, but yeah, yeah, we- I play Paper Mario 64, I know all about- I know all about it. Oh, that's right! I forgot to tell you something vital! You can press Y to change the order you two attack in. You can attack first if you feel like it, Goombella, don't forget that. I'll just be over here, watching the two of you do your thing from a safe distance, but good luck! Yeah, so one thing that people who have only played Paper Mario 64 might notice is that Goombella has her own health bar. In the original Paper Mario, if a partner got hit, they were just like stunned for a few turns. Okay, kill that guy, kill that man. Oh wait, crap. I gotta, I gotta tattle these guys. This game keeps track of them. Keeps track of the tattles, unlike the first game. That's a spiky Goomba. A spiky-headed Goomba. What a creative name. <coughs> Guess that spike helps boost this attack compared to the average Goomba. The addition of the spike means you'll hurt your feet- you'll hurt your feet if you jump on it. Duh. Ow. Yeah, too late. I know. Too soon. Careful not to use all your jump stickers. Uh, why don't you shut up? You think about that? You ever think about that? That's a Paragoomba. Basically a Goomba with wings. I'm jealous. How do you think they get those? Are they just born with it? Is it Maybelline? You can't hammer it while it's flying, but rough it up with a jump and it'll totally plummet. If it loses its wing, does it become a regular Goomba for the rest of its life? No one ever talks about this. Nice, nice. Ah, money. Money! Ha! <laughs> Later on, losers. That felt awesome! Are you ready, Mario? There are plenty more ones. <laughs> I keep, like, I'm trying to do, like, a Doc Brown thing with him, but I keep, I keep sort of slipping out of it. There are plenty more where that came from, and they'll all have it in for us. When they attack, try to hammer them or jump on them while they're in the field. Attack successfully, and you can perform a first strike when you enter battle. So if an enemy catches sight of you, be sure to thump him as you go into battle. We're down below Rogueport. The current town was built on top of this ancient one. Pretty surprising to find all this down here, right? Kind of blows my mind. The ruins here are all crumbly and gnarly now, but it was once a great town, really. Gnarly. Ooh, new segment. Shadow. Yeah, everybody get on the moving platform. We gotta go in the hole. But I'm too powerful. I need to tattle the, the regular Goomba, but I'm just too strong. It's pretty good, my friend. Oh, oh, okay, I missed him. Uh. There's just a lot of new, like, extra details. I apologize if I don't comment on all of them. But there's, like, there's a ton. Like I was saying earlier, uh, but Miles wasn't here. What you're looking at right now is a new detail. 
Like, Professor Frankly and Goombella didn't have back-facing sprites in the original game. Totally new. Yes, an item. I, I know. I know how items work. They also have thinking versions like Origami King. If you're taking a while to select your move, some of the instruments fade out. Really? That is kind of incredible. Oh, you can tattle check. What do you... Oh, so if you've already tattled them, you can use this to see it again. Yeah, like I said, the, the music guys went way, too, way overboard with this. But I appreciate it. Okay, tat tattle him. That's a Goomba. Um, yeah, I'm one of those, in case you hadn't noticed. Um, it says here, Goombas are the underlings of underlings. No standout features to note. That's totally rude. <laughs> oh, I, I kind of get the underling thing now. <laughs> Goombella experiencing casual racism in her old book. Fire flower. And see, what I find funny is that since you start with the hammer, uh, these things never have a chance to be something you can't get past. <laughs> Wait, hang on. Can I go? To, can I, no. Okay. It's been. It's honestly been a while since I played this game. I mean, not the not the remake, the original. I haven't. I haven't. <laughs> ever played the remake but I'm excited to get back into a spinia yeah. you spin to me right around the baby right around like uh I don't know something that's a spinia, a totally weird creature made of thin, papery boards. It certainly looks unique. No one knows much about these creatures, actually. The attacks are super swift, but it should be pretty easy. Just give it a hee What does that mean? Okay, I'm gonna try super guarding. Oh, I messed it up! But that's why, it, that's why they call it a super guard and not an easy guard. Oh, am I doing it too late? I might be doing it too late. But you know, better better get some practice in while we're in the early game. Okay, you know, whatever that was, maybe we'll find out later. Oh, they're angry. They are furious. No, that was that was too early. Hmm. I need to figure out what the timing is with those. It's like right as it hits, but I, I thought I pressed it right as it hit, but I don't know. Maybe there's input lag. I, I don't know. I don't know, my friend. Oh! Oh, the violin! Oh! Who knew the area under Rogueport extended so far? This place is a total maze. You really feel the grandness of that ancient civilization when you're down here. Y 
Yeah, I'm probably gonna say that the music team went extra like 800 different times, but it keeps being true, you know? And yeah, it's more dimly lit. And I got that, you know, one of them liminal space pool things going on. I mean, like, I'm used to the GameCube original where everything's, like, full bright. So this does look a little weird to me. Ah, a chest. Hey, you! Can you hear me? You can? That must mean you're the hero of legend! Only the great hero of legend can hear my voice. Yeah, everyone else? Nothing. See, long ago, an evil spirit cast a curse on me, locking me in this chest. It was a real drag. I've been here ever since, waiting for a long, long time for the hero to come by. So yeah, anyway, big guy, what brings a hero like you to a place like this? And yeah, this is a completely new song. Uh, Mario, a word with you? I'm not exactly confident that we can trust, trust this chest. I think it may be best not to mention that we're looking for the crystal stars. Well, Dread. <laughs> I just said it out loud! What's wrong with me? Oh yeah? Searching for the crystal stars, are you now? So you really are a hero. Well, you're definitely gonna need my help if you want to get those bad boys. So first, you should look for a key to this chest, then use it to let me out. Definitely. Not sure how this chest guy would know anything about the crystal stars. What do you think we ought to do? Well, I know my vote goes to you finding that key. I'm sure it's around here somewhere. This is what the key looks like, by the way. Come on, being stuck inside a box is no picnic. I'm counting on you, oh great legendary hero. Whoa, what? You already found the key? Oh man, I owe you big! Yes! Thank- ha! Thank nothing! <laughs> Fools! Oh boy, did you fall for it! I burned you! What, you think I was gonna help you? Instead, I'm gonna spread a little of the suffering I've endured in that stupid box. Yeah, sorry, but those are the bricks. I'm gonna cast an evil, terrible curse on you. Bugly wuggly woo! You're cursed! <laughs> Enjoy that curse, sucker! You got what you deserved! You wanna hear all about the sweet new curse I dropped? Then listen well. From now on, if you press Y in certain areas, you'll turn into a paper airplane. <laughs> Trembling yet, suffer the rest of your days under my terrible curse. <laughs> oh, I can't help but chortle. You're doomed. This curse is pretty rough, I guess, so I suppose I owe it to you to explain it. Ready? If you stand on an airplane panel like this one, the floor will start to glow. Yeah, okay, you're on the panel. Now try pressing Y. Bam! You're a paper airplane. You control your tiny paper plane self by tilting the left stick forward and back. The plane will rise if you tilt the stick in the direction behind you. Yeah, he does look like the earthbound tent, doesn't he? However, if you keep tilting too much, you'll slow down and start to fall back to the ground. Once you start to rise, stop tilting. Timing is key. Try it now, and suffer total aerodynamic humiliation. <laughs> when you've had enough airplane shame, press B to deplane and get back to normal. So be honest, do you fully understand the peril this curse has bestowed upon you? Farewell, you foolish fool! <laughs> so, uh, wow. Just wow. What was that guy's beef? Oh, hey, Vinny. I haven't seen you in a while. 
I mean, in the stream, I've seen you today. The nerve of that guy and his driving eyeballs. I mean, honestly, a curse that you can cancel out of uh, kind of defeats the point of a curse. I feel like. Go in the door. Go in the door. Oh, I just missed the door. I, I got to restart the game now. Okay. Uh, yep, that's probably the thousand year door that was mentioned earlier. Like, that that is definitely a door. And, I mean, I'm not a very b big age analysis person, but, you know, I'd say a thousand, year, a thousand years might be reasonable. Oh, Mario Gumbella! Look at that! Is that the thousand year door? I can't believe it's real. So the legends are all true. Come, let's move closer. Also, the sound effects are really good. Very good footstep sound. It, it, it. The Thousand Year Door remake, it's there. They remade it. Took a long time though, because they had to wait another thousand years. <laughs> Professor, what's going on? Oh, the map is getting little sparkles into it. The glitter. Oh, now it's emitting. <laughs> it's emitting. Oh, this animation's really cool. Like the ambience. It's a castle. And there's a star over there. But we're only going to tell you the location of one at a time. Oh, now I'm going to glow. Mario's learned a special move. You can now use Sweet Treat. That sounds like a sweet treat. Professor, the map, and what was with all those strange lights? Hmm, this looks like information related to the location of a crystal star. And that shining light. It looked as if a mysterious power was given to Mario. Well, one way or another, we should return to my place and study the map closely. Hmm, aha, I see! You understand it, Professor? Of course I do! And I shall explain! The first thing to know is... This map is truly astounding! Somehow, this map contains radar-like functions, and it's showing us the location of a crystal star. It looks like the first crystal star is to be found in a place called Petal Meadows. Petal Meadows? Yes, Petal Meadows, that's what I just said. Psychomantis? That area is a vast meadow that lies to the far east of Rogueport. To tell you the truth, I've always thought that place was a tad suspicious. The name Petal Meadows did come up from time to time in my research. Okay, fine, so we'll go there. Does anybody know how to get there or what? I'm fairly certain that somewhere beneath the city is a pipe to Petal Meadows. If you could just find that, you'd get there instantly. Pipe travel's efficient. Say, by the way, Mario, I'm curious. How did you get that map anyway? Ooh. From Princess Peach, really? Her Highness sent this to you, Mario? This Princess Peach? This wouldn't be her, would it? Hmm, let me see. Yep, that's it. So it is her! Your princess came to see me the other- what's this song? Uh, your princess came to see me the other day. She wanted to learn about the treasure. I told her about the crystal stars and my suspicions about Petal Meadows. It doesn't seem likely, but perhaps she tried to go to Petal Meadows on her own. You know, Professor, there was another suspicious group asking about the same thing. Hmm, but I can't imagine Princess Peach getting involved with them. 
All right, it's settled. Off to Petal Meadows, you two go. If Princess Peach went there, your first priority must be to catch up to her. Collecting the crystal stars is a means to an end, and that end is Princess Peach. Aren't you coming, Professor? No, I'm an old man. I have a brit <laughs> I have brittle bones. I'll stay in town and ask about Princess Peach and that suspicious gang. Besides, I doubt a shriveled Goomba like me can handle the trials of the road. Of course, if anything happens and you need some advice, come see me, okay? You got it, Professor. Well, Mario, we're off. Give it your best. Now then, allow me to give you both a proper farewell. Well, I mean, I wasn't... I wasn't gonna leave yet. Ah, Mario, there's something I forgot to mention. Firstly, about that light we saw shining on you. By my reckoning, Mario can now perform what is known as a special move. <laughs> I, I love Mario's <laughs> quizzical dog head tilt. <laughs> Especially because it's just like him flooping his head over... Like... That's the kind of like paper humor I like from this series when it's when it's like not thrown like super thick in your face, but it's just kind of like a I, I wouldn't call it subtle, but it's like nah, nah. a special move. Yes, it well, stuff like this is better explained by example rather than words. Would you like to try it out? No. This is very important. You better listen. I mean it. Are you ready to listen? No. Mm, you're absolutely sure? All right, just remember, in battle, the bigger your audience, the better. Yeah, I know all about that. Mario, it's scary out there. Take this with you. Admit it, you missed the dancing. Uh, random dancing! It's called a badge, and it's incredibly helpful. You know, it's the funniest thing. Listen, it's the funniest thing when characters dance for no reason. Especially if it's there's a disco ball, that then it's really funny. You see, depending on the badges you have equipped, you'll get much more powerful. What's more important is knowing that the effects will be there when you first equip a badge. Or what the effects will be. I sometimes I just misread all of these things. No, I'm good. No, I know all about it. I see, and just remember this one part for me. You must equip badges for them to have an effect. By the way, you need flower points to use the f power smash move. In battle, you should watch not only your HP, but your FP too. Did you get all that? Well, here's hoping you find that pipe to Petal Meadows. Super Mario RPG would never do such a thing, especially not right before Exor. Okay, I will make an exception for Mario RPG just because of how bizarre it is. <laughs> it's just like, like, oh, yep, man's just killed himself, and we're just gonna go. <laughs> like, okay, I guess that's what we're doing now. Oh, uh, Goombella's stuck on the bottom floor. She's she she caught up. Okay, hang on. Let me let me let me quit my beige. Goombella is a smart, if sassy, Goomba girl. She hopes to be an archaeologist one day. I need the badge. Yes, put a badge on me. Okay, so now we're in the badge shop. Nostalgic tunes. A big welcome to you. Yes, welcome to the lovely house of badges. You are so welcome here. Now, I know a new customer when I see one, so let me give my usual rundown on how our shop works. We have a special curated selection of recommended badges up here on the counter. If you're looking for something more niche, check in the cardboard box on the right side of the shop. That covers the basics for using our shop, but it, no. Okay, moving right along. Yeah, so you got a, a GameCube for one coin. That's how you know this is fiction. God, I love the different, like, I love the dynamic, I love the dynamic music! Yeah, yeah, I, I didn't mean to press that. 
Welcome, welcome. Feel free to look around. Yeah, so... You can probably predict what that badge does, but let's let's put it on just so you can see. This is what the song originally sounded like. I will admit that this this instrument right here, like I kind of prefer that, but like the strings and whatnot. Oh, there's a lot of badge. A lot of badge here. But yeah, you don't have the special shop themes either, the So I need I need to buy a couple mushrooms. I'm gonna buy one more. Okay, but I'll put this badge on every now and then for people who haven't played the original, uh, Miles. Yeah, I'm just not sure about the trumpet. The trumpet is the one part I'm like, eh, I don't know, you might have gone a little too hard on that one. Let me jump on the can. Eh, get me on a barrel. No, okay. Hang on, I want to I go over here. Oh wait, actually I just remembered there might there might be something. There might be something I need to do over this way. Okay, I'm not sure how I like the screen going black when you go through that. I understand it could probably make you a little dizzy in the original game, but... Oops! Uh, fancy meeting you here. You're pretty dang persistent, buddy. What a pain. Fine, fine, okay, you got me. I'll give you your coins back. Here. Let me give you a newsflash. Even the innocent looking people in our town are thieves. So don't come grumbling to me about losing a little pocket change, okay, buddy? Gonna save again. I mean, saving's pretty quick. Hey, you don't have any good jobs, do you? You know, easy work, great pay. Or at least something easy. I don't do any heavy lifting, and I gotta get paid cash. Everyone in this town does the sand shrug pose, shrug pose, shrek, shrek pose. Whoa, 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 hold up now. You're an outsider. Past this point is the turf of Ishnail, head of the Rabos. Ten coins to pass through. Try to pass without paying, and I'm afraid I'll have to whip you, but good. I can take you. What? You gotta be kidding. You think you can fight your way through here? I'm gonna make you eat your words, tough guy. Let's get this party started. Okay, uh... Tattle this man. Tell me all of his deepest secrets. That's Gus. He's super annoying and tries to take tolls from everyone. All in all, he's pretty tough. And I'm sure it's super obvious, but that pointy spear of his will hurt if you jump on it. wonder if this guy watches people pass 365 days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Yep, he loves that workaholic. Oh, yep, and there's people in the crowd now. Uh, still, that's still a fair amount of damage there. 
I don't think Goombella can do anything against this guy. Let's use the Fire Flower. What is this freaking kazoo? Huh, that hurt? You have no chance of beating me, trust me, so you better run. Yeah, if you don't, seriously, it'll be game over for you. You can choose to run from your tactics menu. Sometimes it's best to run. Uh, yeah, I don't think so. Oh, no, she can appeal. She can appeal. <laughs> I did not mean to take several screenshots. I thought it was like a mash thing, but no, it's just aim. Aim well. Yeah, there we go. And Gubella can't do much, so just, just appeal. Yeah, I got this. I got this in the bag. Yeah, so that's a that's a big new thing that's different from Paper Mario 64 is that how much star power you get depends on how many people are in the crowd. And, you know, it'll charge faster if you got more people. Okay, time for you to die. Love the special victory theme, though. Crud! You dumb video game heroes always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you? Huh? Don't you? Yeah, a little bit. This is East Rogueport. This is the turf of Ishnail and his crew of Robos. These sides all run down. You can't even tell if these video buildings are vacant or not. If you're down here, you darn well better have a compelling reason to be here. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> that trouble center is the only place on the east side that other town folk come to. If the place is open while you're in the neighborhood, you should drop in. I'm guessing it's closed right now. Yep. Yeah. Yep, yeah, it's closed. And yeah, there's nothing over here right now, but I, I still wanted to kill that man. I needed him to die. To learn what it means to fight? Like, fight with your whole heart? I can see you're primping with potential, kid, but there's a heap of stuff you don't know about a fight. Stylish moves, hitting it big, there's a whole list. Feel free to hit me up if you got a question, friendo. Who am I? There's some who call me the Battle Master, and I don't stop them, but I could with fighting. Anywho, I got a great life traveling, training. Uh, some third thing. If you see me around, give me a holler. Yeah, so this is a new- this is a new guy. Oh yeah, there's a lot of stuff. But there's only a few things I think I need to- to learn about this. Okay, let's see. Okay. The unsimplifier.
Oh yeah, that's right. They had the whole slot machine thing. I forgot about the slot machine. Okay, so Toads are good, Luigi's really good, and Goombas and Dull Bones only throw trash. Yeah, so, I forget if I said, this is a completely new NPC. He wasn't in the original game. Okay. No, that hasn't happened yet. Oh, okay, that wasn't as useful as I would have hoped. Calling me kid? Hang on, let me save real quick. And then we'll, we'll actually progress with the game. I don't know how far I'm gonna get this session. Because, you know, I had to go through the whole introduction. But we'll see. We'll find out. We'll find in, even. Oh, Toad has a new tattle entry if you practice with him. Oh, good, good to know because I, I would have, I would have skipped that. But, I mean, he's also here all the time, so it's not like he's super missable. Oh, but he has a custom theme. Wait, what's the pipe? Oh, stop. That's a goom board. It's a goomba drawn on a board. I think the master made this. He's surprisingly talented. No, you're not the master. Is this music from the dojo in Mario, Paper Mario 64? I don't think so. I think this is a new song. Okay, so I can't... I can't tattle him, I guess. Oh, wait, wait, it tells you when the stylish is. Oh, yeah, that's right. That's right. You can do... Hang on, hang on. I got this. <laughs> oh, yeah, you can... You could get wacky with it. Oh, no, I, that was the D-pad. All right. Cool. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, let's, let's actually progress now. So now we can go this way. We can plane. It is plain to see. That pun sucked, I'm sorry. 
kind of soggy and majorly gross. Well, I gotta smack it. Bloop, bloop. Ouch, that hurt. Oh no, there's gooms. There's gooms in the crowd. Who just up and whack someone's tootsies like that? Somebody with serious moxie, that's who. Would you look at that? It's some saucy mustache guy. He's in a world of hurt. I'll give him a taste of the old tentacle trample. Hey Mario, you remember what Professor Frankly told us, right? You can press Y to change our attack order. If your HP drops, press Y to put me in front. Cannot flee. The flea. Color Splash is the only game in the series that doesn't have a blooper boss. That's a blooper, and a really super humongous one, too. Ew, it's all slimy. I just totally can't stand slimy, nasty, icky things. G-R-O-S-S -S, gross. The button prompts are super Famicom colored. Once you damage both its tentacles, it'll fall down, and then it's attack time. By the way, the tentacles each have 3 HP. Now relax and make seafood out of that slimy, nasty blooper. Okie doke. Hey, mustache! You're thinking I taste good, aren't you? Admit it! Yeah, you want to snack on these tentacles, don't you? You're darn bloopin'! You know I'd rather bloop. Yeah. Ha! Oh, I, I pressed that too early. But I can do it multiple times. Er Hang on, don't, don't worry. Don't worry, I will heal you up nice and good. Oh, it's bingo! Dang it! Hang on, we'll, we'll get some... We'll get some stuff. Oh, oh. Hang on, I'm mostly getting heals for me. That wasn't the intention. Ow. Okay. Were the waves in the back always animated? I don't know. Like, I love Thousand Year Door, but honestly, it's been a long time since I played it, and I don't remember a lot of the finer details. <laughs> I can- I confess. You got it out of me. Ah, uh, crap. I'm not good at getting the super, the super good one. Okay, now time to kill. Time to murder and kill. Oh, bingo again. Dang it. Oh, but you're still on the ground, buddy. And now I'm gonna take you from the ground to Pound Town. But not like in a weird way. Oh, that, that like effect at the end. God, like, like I said, I love, I love so much that each of the battle themes has its own victory theme. Like, I, I said it 300 times, but the music team did not have to go this hard, but I will ever, forever appreciate that they did. Bloop, bloop. Okay, bye. It was like that in Origami King, too. Well, it was good there, okay? Okay, I admit it. I admit it. 
Origami King did something right at some point. Oh, wait, 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 Goomba, what you gotta say about this room? Looks like some seawater's found its way in here, huh? Yeah, that's a health hazard. I bet some weird sea things live in there, too, so try not to fall in the water, okay? Yeah, like some kind of weird chomp fish. And there's a building in the back I can't go to, and this pipe's made out of stone! Luigi, actually, it's not made out of stone, it's made out of paper, but it's paper that's meant to look like stone. Chapter 1, Castle and Dragon. Which is not a very imaginative chapter name, but, you know, we'll accept it. Oh, this song. Why is it so quiet? Well, here we are, the Petal Meadows, where folks say a crystal star hides. Woohoo, here we go, Mario! The start of our adventure! This is completely awesome! <laughs> Mario can... He's just kinda... Yeah, he can just hang on the ledge here. Can't fall off, but he can he can hang there. What's the jor journal? Yeah, you got tag... Bag... Bag... Bag list... Notes... Art... Arty farty art... Yep, new segment in the song. Oh, I'm a soy jack. Oh yeah, see that's the dragon that they were they were telling us about. Whoa, what was that? I've never seen anything that humongous before. It looked kind of scary too. Definitely flew into that castle back there, right? Let's get going in case it comes back. Here we go, again. The rock with a moon in it. Got an indent, as if you could put something in there. Wish I knew what the shape is supposed to be. I don't know why they made Mario completely mute in the modern games. I don't know. Goomber! Oh, and you can even do it on a first strike. Hang on, you have to die! Give me your mayonnaise! Oh, I don't think he gives me the mayonnaise. I think I gotta have something else to get the mayonnaise. Oh, bag! Yeah, when Mario- yeah, we had that in the last game. So, how much is that? Yeah, I can afford that. Oh, the little, like, the trim trimolo string or whatever it's called. That's really good. Reminds me of Corby. Kirby and the Forgotten Mirror. Which is not a real Kirby game. Level up! Okay, well, see, we don't have many badges right now, so... I think... I think health is the way to go. Mario's no nose is very bulbous. I say as if that's not the most obvious thing you've ever heard. Hello, Hill. You don't do the thing that the other Hill did. What's in here? Oh, it's that. It's a badge that I can't actually get to, I don't think. Oh. Oh no, I gotta fight this guy. Yeah, so now the game has officially begun. This is where video games starts. 
we see we had to establish like in Paper Mario 64, we had to establish the plot. I don't know if Goombella has stylish moves. That might just be Mario. I don't know, I'll have to talk to the Grandmaster next time I see him. Her no, no, I want to get up on the block. I want to knock that guy's block off. There we go. Okay, I cannot reach that. Yeah, give me coins, give me money. Okay, what do you got to say? Ah, the Petal Meadows. The scenery's super nice, but watch out for all the Goombas here. Make sure you've always got enough HP and FP to fight, will ya? Oh, and you can press R to check your stats, too. Bump, bump, ba ba dump, bump, ba ba dump, bump. Peep, poop, poop, peep, peep, ba da ba da ba 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 Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself wondering what to do, just press Z. You already told me that! You already told me that, Gumbino. Oh yeah, I'm so stylish. I don't even need to do that. <laughs> I don't even need to do it, my bar is full. I'm doing it purely to, to flex on you. Mario, like, does the flip, and while he's in the air, he's like... <laughs> okay, I can't get past that. Oh, it's a secret pipe! God, hearing a new official remix of this song is so nice, though. It is very nostalgic for me. God! God, that bit! I made a bridge! Made it out of Flipporama. Remember, flip the pages back and forth so that Mario can hit the enemy repeatedly. Okay, I gotta walk all I gotta walk all the way back. Who knows what this does? It could do anything. Could have a my little pony figurine inside it. Welcome, travelers! Hmm, where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalburg. Sorry, but it's been a long time since we had visitors here. Yippity! Once that dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, it didn't help tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon hooktail? That must have been the huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called hooktail, huh? Ooh, that's a scary name. By the way, Green Boots, have you ever heard of these things called Crystal Stars? We're on this quest for them, it's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm, nope, can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You may want to speak with the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. Koopas of his age are, um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in that pink house up ahead. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous. But it should be easy to find, thanks for your help. Yeah, they just added a ton of new stuff to the songs for no reason. Oh, it's this guy. Top of the morning, this I, Bob Bulber. I am as happy as can be, why? Simply because I'm surrounded by flowers. Oh, they're so expressive.
Okay, there's the inn. I go in the inn. I go out of the inn. Good, good photo of hill. Good photo of, uh, I think, the outside of the inn. I, too, have a photo of my house inside my house. Oh, you can buy a snake! Mr. Softener. Hey, did you happen to pick up any pow blocks on your way here? If not, you'll notice they got them for sale right here! Hint, hint! Lucky for you that you stopped by! Let's enjoy getting clobbered to denim clad smithereens, that is! I can't do this. <laughs> I can't do this, boy. I'm losing it. <laughs> Okie doke. Also, I don't think this guy is normally here at this point in the game. For reasons that I will not elaborate on. Oh, Hook Trail, she lives at the top of that old castle beyond this hummock in Petal Meadows. Have you heard the rumors? Some say lots of treasure is hidden in that castle. Scores of people have gone in search of it, but no one has returned. So, what do you think? You're getting scared, huh? I thought Hooktail being female was supposed to be like a revelation. Like, I thought you were supposed to be like, it's a girl! Wow! Hey, what's up? I gotta say, I've been playing a lot of GBA games lately. There's this one game that just absolutely rules. It's called Wario Land 4. You ever heard of it? Man, it rocks my socks! Yeah, that game is pretty good. Oh. Oh no, we found the shrine. Hey, keep your hands to yourself in here. Basically, everything in this room is a one-of-a-kind collectible. This guy's apparently a total die-hard Peach fan. He even collects Peach merchandise. They make Peach merchandise? He has posters and merch displayed everywhere. Boy, get a life, you know what I mean? Hey Mario, don't tell me you have a secret collection of pe plush Peach dolls too. No! I tell her all about it. But I am General White. I am a Bobom, and I have lost my hopes and dreams. I live in solitude always. I must apologize, but I ask that you leave me alone. Okay. And then there's the disco man here for no reason. Ah, oh, bonjour, mademoiselle. Isn't it a beautiful day? I am French for some reason. No, 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 not you, Monsieur de la Moustache. I'm speaking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. Mon petit chao. Do you hear me, beautiful? Abandon this dullard and come away with me. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice wig, you disco wannabe. Take a hike, bozo the chump. Oh, oh, oh. I cannot pronounce that. I am wounded. Such brutal honesty, such a sharp tongue. I shall retreat for now. If you'll change your mind, come find me. What a total sleaze. Let's go somewhere else, Mario. <laughs> What's with this guy, huh? It grosses me out just being near this weirdo. Alright, fine, whatever. His name is Dupree. He's this icky guy who tries to sweet talk everybody. There, no more. <laughs> Mario, I can't believe you're making me tattle this man. I don't want to talk about him. This village is very nice. Clean water, clean, uh, clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail, she's made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Boy, the mayor's been so forgetful lately. I'm actually worried since the old guy forgets my name from time to time. Oh, that's, that's dementia in my Mario game. Oh my god. Aren't you all the ones from the from the last game? Isn't that you? Aren't you the same one? Hey, 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 it's us. The Happy Wonders, the Traveling Sisters 3. This village is fim They have different voice clips. They they have different voice clips for each each one of them. This village is famous for its clear water, clean air, and one more Yeah, the other guy was just talking about it. Except it sounded like this. 
That big bad hooktail. We can't wait to see her. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're here to die. We are here to die. Moving cloud shadows. Yeah, buddy, this is the... Like the, what, the, the eighth or ninth generation of consoles? I don't know what the Switch counts as. We got moving clouds. Well, hello there. My name is Koopy Koo. It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls, and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you're here, that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hook tail. Oh, if only Koops were as brave as you. Yeah, like I said, I I was under the impression that you weren't supposed to know Hooktail was a girl. What's back? What's back here? What's in here? I thought there'd be a star piece. Maybe there is, but I don't have the move. I don't have the move. That seems to have changed. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe that was an English localization thing. Cause I okay. So, the localization with this remake seems to be a little weird because some things are the same and then other things are different. I won't- I won't spoil what. You probably already know, but... Oh, look at this old fart. Oh, look, and you got- you got a picture of him when he was a young man. He was a young lad. Oh, is his wife dead or something? I don't remember. See, that's- that's what you call environmental storytelling. Goombella, get out of there. <laughs> oh, what's that? Someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves! Here to rob a defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. Go on, do as you will. But as you can plainly see, there's nothing to steal here. Oh, I guess I have a little money. Take it, few fiends. And my antique shell, too. Just leave the photos of me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. What? Not thieves, you say? Well, what's your story then? Oh wait, you f folks looking for the crystal stars? Why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. Oh well, well I guess I guess if he's, he's saying idiot, it's probably more like, well, why didn't you pipe up before, you idiot? We're just wasting time here. The crystal stars you say you're hunting. Mm, wait, what did I hear about those dang things again? Ah, I got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. She's this enormous ornery dragon. Eats folks, they say. You know Hooktail, right? I may have heard the name, yes. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snackings have all of us on pins and needles. So are you reckless fools? I mean, are you gallant heroes off to rough her up? Yep. Oh, sounds promising! Why, if you can rid us a hooktail, we'll shower you with gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that I hear? You'll accept no reward? I didn't say that. <laughs> what an unselfish man! You're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what did you say your name was again? My name is Thumbs Up. Murphy? Oh, that's a fine name. Yes, a fine name indeed. Well now, Murphy. Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy. They are nice eyebrows. Now listen up. If you're intent on going to Hooktail Castle, find the secret pipe that's located somewhere in Petal Meadows. I know you need the Sunstone and the Moonstone to use that pipe. The stones are somewhere in Schwank Fortress. Just get past the village and get them first. Well then, Murphy, get, do get going and really wallop that Hooktail monster. Okay. Was in here is a house. Oh, hey, man, what's up? What did you say? You're actually going to Hooktail Castle? I can't believe you dare challenge that behemoth. She eats people. Often! Um, it's really none of my business, but it's one scary dragon, and that's no lie. He's got a band-aid on his nose. His beak, or whatever. How cool would it be if this guy joined your team? Now, don't be silly. I hear there's a scary kind of monster that lives in our town. I'm not 
attacks are completely useless against it. Oh, and that's not all. Fire attacks are also useless. Very idea freaks me out. What can I do if no, if one attacks me? I wonder if the shop has a way for me to throw money at the problem. Capitalism solves everything, my friend. Yeah, see, look, there's the there's the man. There he is. Hang on, let me see if Goombella's got a super, a super thing. Okay, hang on. Hang on. Oh yeah, she does, but it's right it's right when she starts. Or or is it? Okay, yeah, so she does. She she does have one, okay. But the timing is differente. Got it. Hello, you have hair. Hey, since you're here, let me ask. How many people do you think Hooktail's gobbled? All time, I mean. I heard she recently lunched on Old Man Scoo two villages over. And Coops, who lives next door? His father went off to battle Hooktail ages ago. He's been a missing person. No, wait, that's not right. A missing Koopa ever since. That is kind of low-key racist. Old Man Skooks. <laughs> that's... Toasty, a toad from Petalburg. She seems really huffy about something. Sure does keep a straight face, though. Guess she's a pretty tough cookie. Casual Mushroom Kingdom racism. Some stone monsters live at Schwant Fortress up ahead, so, or so we fear. The gate is here to keep them out. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Er, I beg your pardon. Uh, wait a moment, please. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking. Um, how to begin? My, my, my name's Coops. I heard you're traveling to Hooktail's castle. I, uh, I have a favor to ask. Um... Oh, just, just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good, goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you think going on inside that guy's shell? Didn't the Mario 3 show have an episode about racism? I don't remember. You know, when people get as smart as dinosaurs... Yeah, hit everything. Oh, it's Cooper with the sunglasses. Oh, okay, see ya, Poe. That's how you know it's a good game, is Cooper has sunglasses. That That's the rules. If Cooper has sunglasses, it's a good Paper Mario. If he doesn't, then it's not. That's a Koopa Troopa. They've been around forever. Gotta respect the longevity. Yeah, these guys did not go extinct. Thumbs up. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and defense drops to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Yep, jumps and pow blocks. So get in there stomping. Get, get stomp. Get, get it. Oh, no, I don't want that. I don't want that. Why'd you give it to me? Go figure, that's the first bingo I get. I'm so mad, I gotta do a stylish move so I won't be so mad.
Okay, there's something in a bush. Somebody's jorking it in an air. Straight jor <laughs> jorking it. Mario, look at our audience. There's a guy with a big rock. <laughs> that guy's got a rock. There's no way he isn't gonna throw that at you. You get hurt if the audience hits you with anything, and not just emotionally. Quick, stop him before he throws that rock. Try pressing X. Yes, attack the crowd. Nice, later you lousy troublemaker. From now on, press X to eject any audience members who look like they're holding things. Oh, but there might be actual fans out there with items or coins for you. Try not to chase them away. <laughs> okay, Mario, now try attacking with your hammer. Okay, why? Why am I doing that? I don't know, it just kind of felt like the thing to do. Oh yeah, it's, it's teaching you about stage hazards. You can knock the trees over. Sometimes your attacks will cause the backdrop to collapse. It can drop on us too, so watch out. All sorts of other things could happen while we're up here, so stay alert and try to come out on top. Oh yes, I did it! Death! Death. Deceasement. Nope. No, no, no. Please become deceased. Please become diseased. Please contract the bubonic plague, thank you. Go, go, gadget, bubonic plague. I don't know what a bubonic plague is. It's definitely not the same thing. That's my that's my new plague. Original plague. Do not steal. Schwonk. We have to defeat them. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I like the choice of lead instrument in this one. The party tutor. That's a bald club. Basically, a rock monster with a sharp, craggly face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it for me. Yeah, this guy's rock solid. Fire doesn't even hurt it. It might be best to block a ba attack with a pow block, yeah. I can talk. I've, I've been streaming for like five years. I can talk. Yes, death. So if you don't have a pow block, is it just game over? You just gotta leave and come back? He's so happy. Oh! Ow. That's not very nice. I'm gonna have to style on you. Koopas hate me because I'm styling. I'm riding dirty. Super dirty, oh brothers. Yes. 
That just sounds like an alternate title for Horny O Brothers. Which is a real movie that was made that Nintendo bought the rights to so that they couldn't make it anymore. <laughs> So yeah, Nintendo Nintendo could release the porn parody if they wanted to. Is that true? Yes, it is. It is actually true. I would tell you to look it up, but I understand why you wouldn't want to do that. Yeah, give me your coins. Give me the money that is within your being. Oh, there's a free pal block out here in case you don't have one. Oh, yeah, so there's this guy. <laughs> You're the one with a hammer. The Apex Predator. <clears throat> okay, now tell me about this guy. That's a bristle. Totally covered in spikes. They're so prickly. And they're impervious to fire. Even trying to get close to enough to whack it with a hammer is dangerous. Seriously, its spikes will totally pop out. And so, since you can't jump it or use your hammer, you better use an item. Okie doke. Luckily, I have come prepared for this. Mario reaches into his overalls and pulls out like eight different items. Like Mary Poppins. It's kind of like the Pac-Man dying noise. Wee 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 boop boop. Oh, wait, what do you got to say about this? Okay, anything in bush. Bush. Oh, oh, no, you need to die. Yeah, like I said, I don't need to do this. My bar, my bar is full. But listen, I need to style on them. Yes! You fool! You idiot! You absolute buffoon! You wear a spike on your head! You don't do that! Unless, maybe if you're in a biker gang. But this guy, you think this guy's in a biker gang? I doubt it. Oh, there's something here. Ah, an in coupon for free in. Okie doke. Knock him on his back. Break your mother's crack. Oh, come on, come on. No! Oh, so you, you'll give me the poison mushroom, but the, the flower, that's too much to ask. I don't even need it, but I just, <laughs> I just feel offended that you won't give it to me. And yep, you can recover, but it costs five coins to do so. 169, though, that's a pretty cool number. Yes, I know, she just told me about that. She just told me about that.
I, I love this right here. I, I know I know about this guy's sound. <laughs> Ooh! <laughs> I love that noise. I'm glad they used it for this. Mm -hmm. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. You must want the sun and moonstones. If that's the case, then you must compete against me. If you win, I'll let you through to where the stones rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate. And by terrible, I mean awful. Mm -hmm. So what do you want to do? Mm, you're in for it now. Hang on one sec. Hey, hey, it's that time again. Welcome everyone to the 65th Trivia Quiz Off. If you correctly answer five of the following questions, you'll win. But get three wrong and you'll suffer. Now for the first question. What's hidden in Schwank Fortress? Sun and Moonstones. Sun and Moonstones, is that your real answer? Are you sure? Oh, that's correct. That question was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder. So prepare yourself. On to question two. What do one mushroom and one fire flower cost at the shop in Petalburg? Total. Uh, ten coins. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say ten. Oh no! Wrong, 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 you fools! Remember, if you get three wrong, you're going to suffer like you wouldn't believe. Don't let the pressure get to you. Moving on, question three. Oh, I, I know that. Heh, <laughs> Koopa Coot. Well, 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 I know it's not any of these three, so it's gotta be this one. Ah, Yeah. Correct. Correct! Where is the crystal star? Hooktail Castle. Uh... Tell me you just didn't get your fourth right answer. It can't be true. That's it. I'm making the rest of these near impossible. Get ready for ba brain pain. Question six. Which of the following characters can be found in Pedalberg? Uh, Coop Cooper. Oh, he's got the angry eyes. No, uh, that's, that's right. You correctly answered five questions. I don't believe it. You win. So very angry. I can't believe I lost. I guess I'll have to let you through. Stupid rules. Hmm. Are we better saving it? Yep, you hit the block, Mario. Hit it. Okay. Now we're in the Schwank Underground. Ah, multi bounce. Thank you. I think I'll wear it now. Oh, it's a fuzzler. It's them weird beardy things. 
They've been here since Mario World and we still don't know what they are. That's a fuzzy. What a hyper little guy, huh? Cut back on the caffeine. Those things suck up your HP and use it to replenish their own. Isn't that the worst? I mean, ew! Doesn't that just sound totally gross? Anyway, sounds like you need to use the guard action command when they release you. The timing is pretty hard to master, so, uh, practice up. These things really suck. HP. Oh no. Oh no, he undid everything! Oh, but I did it. I've already mastered it. I've already mastered it. I'm an old pro. Oh, attack multiple foes. Okay. <laughs> That's... That, the stylish on that one's really funny. Oh! Come on, give me that mushroom. Give me that mushroom. Give me the mushroom! Not that mushroom! I hate you! Oh, I missed it that time. Come on, give me the shine sprite. Give me the shine sprite. Oh, well, you yeah, know, it's close, but not quite. But yeah, this, you know, this game was originally made for the GameCube, so yeah, there's a lot of, uh, Mario Sunshine iconography in this. Which I don't mind, because Sunshine is based. And if you say otherwise, then you are, you are banned from my stream, thank you. Oh, I got that. Sunshine HD remake win. Uh, well, I mean, they did port it to Switch in HD. They did do that. Except they took it off the shelves, like, a few months later, because Nintendo hates you and wants you to die in hell. Simply dying is not enough. You have to go to hell afterwards. Of course, going to hell before you die will also be accepted. The judges- the judges will accept it. I told you that I thought Kirby's Air Ride was overrated, but you still haven't banned me. That one's like a near ban. That one's like... You're- you're this close to being banned. But on, honestly, I'll- I'll be real with you. I pretty much like Kirby Air Ride for City Trial and nothing else. Like, the racing is okay, but... City Trial is what carries that game. I am honestly shocked that they haven't made, like, a new city trial because, you know, Battle Royales were exploding. Battle Royales is everywhere, baby. And, uh, you know, it's basically the proto-Battle Royale. So I'm, I'm, I'm shocked they haven't done it. I'm shocked they haven't made another one. Out. Pressed it a little too late. Yeah, you got you gotta press it like a little early. How labs were still getting their heads around 3D curvy at the time, I guess. True. Like I said before, I always think it's so funny how they were talking about like when Return to Dreamland came out. They were like, we, we really had to sit there and think, like, how do you make Kirby work in 2.5D? And I'm like, son, you already did it. It's on the Nintendo 64, you did it! <laughs> I mean, maybe they just meant there was like a new team that had to program it or something, but I don't know. Remember when we were discussing, I remember when we were discussing a potential 3D Kirby on stream before Forgotten Land happened. And what a game it turned out to be. Yeah, it was, pre it was pretty good. I liked it. And I, I do not remember talking about that, but I believe you that I did. 
I'm gonna get some bag. Bag point. Thought Kirby 64 was truth the truth to GD and then I actually played it. Yeah, it's not. It's 2.5D. But I think it's still pretty good. One of my favorite Kirby games, at least. Now, okay. For those of you who have only played Kirby, not Kirby 64, Paper Mario 64, you got me on the, the Kirby brain. They, they took out the spin. They took out the speedy spin. So you can't do that no more. And people wanted it back. They did not bring it back. <laughs> they didn't do it. Then again, maybe they just maybe they just wanted to spare your shoulder buttons. But I mean, hey, Mario Sunshine took out the long jump. So, I mean, it was just kind of the time to take away moves from Mario. It was just kind of it was the style at the time. You know, I wonder if there's an onion badge that Mario can wear on his belt. I probably should have done the multi-bounce. That is a that was an error in judgment on my part. So hey guys, why do you think they haven't made Paper Wario yet? I, I think if we lived in a just world, Nintendo would have made that by now. I, I mean, I know some people want like a Paper Luigi game. Yes! Big no! And I didn't need it! I literally did not need it. But yeah, some people want like a Paper Luigi game, but I say screw that guy. Uh, Wario. Make Paper Wario. No, I'm just kidding, Luigi. I love you, baby. Why not both? You know, I like the way you think. Thank you. Thank you. Let's keep on schwonking. Alright, son. But I got another fuzzy, I gotta be- just nothing but fuzzies, whoops, all fuzzies. They make a noise like- <laughs> I'm really glad I did not accidentally spit on my keyboard doing that. Oh crap, I- I got too flashy, I got greedy. And like I said, I- I don't even need to do it, my bar is full. That's also what I would say if I ran a successful pub. We had the Mario and Luigi series. How about the Wario and Waluigi series? I right, listen, y'all missed your chance to make a Mario and Luigi, Wario and Waluigi game. The chance was there. You could have taken it. Now Alpha Dream is dead and it's all your fault. Come on, give me the shine sprite. Yes! I, I don't even know what that does! Rabid Wario and Rabid Waluigi. Like I said, I, I don't know how to feel about those games because, like, they do a lot of cool stuff. But then also the Rabbids are in them. It, it's like if they made a game called Mario Shaves His Hairy Armpit, but it was like a 10 out of 10 video game with like tons of references to old games and like good gameplay but then you still have to contend with the fact that you're playing Mario shaves his hairy armpit
Wait, does she have her own jump sound effect? Oh, wait, Goldman. New York. Hey, you're suspicious types. This is our place. I'm coming in here as rude, rude, rude. Sorry, suckers. If you want a warm welcome, too bad. Now I lunch on your head. Oh, he wants some head, does he? Well, I'm sorry. That's a gold fuzzy. Whoa, these are super rare. I'm serious. Wow. Which is why we're gonna kill him. Oh, but hey, even though it's a fuzzy, it won't suck up your HP, which is nice. I have to wonder, though. How does this thing hide? Look at it. It's so gaudy. So wait, the golden one is less capable than the regular fuzzy. Wow, that is, that is a complete failure of evolution right there. Oh, yeah, he just jumps on you. And he goes squash. He's got the squash and stretch. Hey, ow, you chumps are tougher than you look. I mean, I'm not through yet. Everyone, get them. <laughs> if they're rare, that means natural selection is working. <clears throat> oh, but now, now we must fight the hoard. I'm sorry, Gumbino. I keep forgetting he doesn't do the normal thing. He doesn't go the... He don't do that. It's a fuzzy horde. Look at them all. What a mob scene. The fuzz is a buzz. Fuzzies come at you all at once and attack in order. It says here not to freak out. Also says if you use good timing to defend, you won't take much damage. I'm thinking it might just be faster to whip the ringleader, though, you know? Uh, yeah, probably. Oh! Oh, no, nothing. I didn't need it anyway. I, I messed that up. Nope, nope, not this time. Not this time, Buster Boy Brown. Not this time. Not in my house. I messed up the timing. Oh, I didn't mean to attack the horde! I pressed it too early. Pressed it just a mite too early. Oh, can I get a health? Nope. No health for you. Bye bye. But don't worry, he is now dead. You got me. Yeah, die. Die. No, come back here, die. Okay, fine. Alright, so... I think that's where I'm gonna call it for right now. And we'll finish the rest of chapter one next time. So far, though, A-plus remake, like I said, pretty much the only flaw is that it's 30 FPS versus the original 60. I can deal with that, you know? I can see why this game is so beloved. Oh, it gets better. It gets better. I was hoping you'd say that, but it gets better than this. Like, like Greeny said, this might be one of the, the weaker chapters in the game. But yeah, good. Very good remake. And hopefully it means good things for Paper Mario going forward. I've, 
I've made no secret of how I feel about the direction the series took for a while. And if, if this is a sign of things to come, then I will be a very happy man. But yeah, it, until next time, I don't know what next stream will be and probably will be this again because I'll, I'll be obsessed or something. I don't know. I still have to complete Princess Peach pl playtime at some point. But I think we all knew that Paper Mario would get priority. I don't know. It'll probably be this again, but we'll see. We'll see. But for now, uh, thank you for tuning in. I'm glad you were here to share my first impressions with me. And I hope you have a good night. See you around.